Uh, please, I thought just to start, we should um, confirm you shot both these films and produced and edited them? Uh, well, the first one is image, the three fourths of the I made just shooting was just the last image. Mm. The rest was taken uh, on the mobile phone of Jean Luc. And for the second one, the, yes, I badly made this bad image. For this, it's not a film, the film is inside this video. Um, yeah. So this was made, as you say, really just to sort of um, to prepare for the feature that was to never be. Yes, because uh, um, we had a contract with Arte, is a, is a television, French television, and the project began in uh, 2018, just after the last film, Image Book. Last film, I say, no, the new film, Image Book. Um, and uh, it was a big project at the origin. Uh, it was a comedy in command, a purpose, a purpose of the Opera of Paris, who wanted to to make films, to to ask to filmmakers to make film uh, on the opera. And Jean Luc had uh, say yes. He had an idea where the film. Uh, uh, would be made in an opera in Paris, uh, l'Opéra de Bastille, where uh, on stage you have in the backstage you have three other stage complete with all the set on it, so you can very quickly change on each opera. And he wanted to make a film inside the backstage, well, stage, but in backstage. And uh, uh, the script of this film will be not made in paper, but made in film. So there was a second film. So one film is the film inside the opera. The second film is, well, the first film is the scenario of a film. Then the second film is the film that it was explained in the scenario. And then the third part was um, a script, a real, a real script of an opera. So John Ligue would write the livret, libretto of an opera. Big project. Then change. Things change. Uh, the director go to Scala in Milano. So, na na na, and just uh, the project of opera uh, collapse and just remains the idea of a scenario, which is the scenario of a film. So for this, it's got this name. And the idea was that this scenario film will be co-produced with Arte. And then, okay, things go on. Um, then years gaze, and then pandemic, and then tired, and then everything. Though we always he postponed the filming or uh, things like that on the, on scenario, but he, he had it a lot of this kind of brochure notebook. Uh, there is five in total, and at the end there was this one where he wanted to present this to the producer Arte. Um, but the producers say, and we say to Jean-Luc, but maybe you know you have to give some images, not only paper, because it's a film. Uh, though if you want to, that he pay, that Arte pay some, you know, in contract of co-production, there is steps, uh, first uh, script, uh, first day of shooting. For this, it's right, premier tournage, because it was to, to get the, the schedule of payment of the first shooting. Um, so we decided to to give him them this brochure and also a video to explain this. So it was just made for them. Huh? It was not. Uh, so I, I was there with my my Sony and Leica. Where, where is the brochure now? Do you have it? Uh, I had now. It's in the uh, hand of Mitra Farhani, who she is the producer of uh, Ecran Noir, and she have some project to do with. Um, uh, so, um, but we we thought that it may be interesting to see how the work is going. It's uh, um, yeah, it's a little brute, but uh, it's an idea. Thank you. And so that was in September 2021. Yeah. And um, fast forward one year. Can you walk us through the day by day sort of the lead up? to uh, that fateful day of the 13th of September and the making of Scénario Plural. Uh, 
in between be, between yeah, the two the, films the, the making of the short ah um well it was yeah uh, jean luc get tired um not his mind but the body uh and but already in summer 21 it was very hot summer 22 also um you get problem on the how do you say the neck knee, the, the knee knee, knee. Um, so uh, and he begin to change a little the idea and to to forget a little the scenario as it was on the script or in this notebook and um, other idea uh, appear like uh, a film in two parts one with him uh, in his uh, uh, infirmity, injury, we say. Okay, yeah, injury. Uh, and another part uh, called um, ADN on the DNA, on his uh, fundamentals element. But it was this kind of idea. But then the summer of 22 was very hot too. He spent a lot of time, uh, I bring him in uh, some uh, clinics just to, to eat. Um, and then he was a little yeah tired, but still wanted to go and to to honor the contract with Arte and to give them some images and to make films, uh, maybe another idea. But and um, just two weeks before the 13th September, um, yes, uh, Wednesday. Yes, two weeks before we were in the in his. Uh, uh, workshop in this house in Roll, we still have um, with Jean Paul. Jean Paul Battaglia is the guy that you hear. Uh, he comes from France. I'm in Lausanne, in Switzerland, near Jean Luc. So it was all the crews of films of Godard for 20 years. We are to, the two uh, working with him um, of preparing this new way of making a film. Um, but he was very tired. Uh, but he said, can you please begin to reconnect all the edit machine uh, so I can just make a simple edit? And say, OK, I begin to cable. And then he said, oh, Fabrice, maybe bring him, me back to Anne-Marie Mieville, because uh, his wife, Anne-Marie Mieville, and him don't live in the same house. So we bring, OK, we say, oh, we, you will continue tomorrow. OK, I'll bring uh, him to Anne-Marie. So I don't cable all the machine. And then during this night, it was a very bad night for him. Um, on the morning, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, yeah, Thursday, no, you say jeudi. Tuesday, uh, Tuesday. Uh, jeudi is a Thursday. Ah, okay. Uh, Thursday, uh, morning, he, he write us to say, no, please cancel everything. Uh, all the rendezvous, all what we have to do. I, I spent a very bad night. I, I call you back uh, in a few days, uh, next week, maybe. Uh, so no problem, we'll always postpone things with him. So no, no problem, OK. Um, and then on the Sunday, uh, the next Sunday, he asked, not to me and not to Jean-Paul, hopefully, he asked to his uh, uh, tax, <laughs> the tax uh, specialist that he is using, he's like his uh, comptable. Um, to to uh, ask to this association to help to die, exit. And Monday we had a call of this tax guy uh, that Jean-Luc wanted to die. You heard from his tax advisor? Yes, no, Jean-Luc, don't tell me this, just this tax. He called me, as you know, uh, Fabrice, uh, he, made, uh, yeah, he asked me to, to organize this. No words from Jean Luc. Uh, okay. Um, it was a shock? Yes, it's like uh, being a uh, fish with uh, outside water, you know? You're like that. Um, but on the day after, a uh, message of Jean Luc uh, Can you come uh, to Anne Marie, please, just to, for the bank stuff? And okay. So I go to him, and he was a little uh, upset because it takes time to organize all this uh, association. Yeah. He said, no problem, Jean -Luc. Take it, it, it can take six months, one year, two years. Yes, it's normal, yes, it's normal. It's not easy to, to organize this. Okay, so he was a little, uh, has, like every day, a little um, 
euh, énervé. Agitated. Not agitated, but un petit peu... Annoyed. Euh, ouais, euh, énervé. Yeah. And, um, OK. Then I come back uh, in, in Lausanne, and then I say, OK, it will take six months, uh, times will go, and then we continue work, and... Uh, Um, it's not the first time that he he talk about self death. Huh? He talk about self death from the from his eighteen uh, or seventeen or fifteen. So it's like something. Okay, it was not completely new. And then okay, day goes, and then on Thursday, I had a call of the tax guy saying ah, the date will be for next Tuesday, the thirteen. Ah. Okay, and he, the tax say me, if, but if you want to say him goodbye, you can go on Monday. Okay, ciao. Okay, again, the fish are outside the water, more. Um, and then on the Friday, tax guy called me again. Ah, he wants to see you for the five, six images. Huh? What? 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 Five, six? What? What? I didn't know what, what, but what? We were all like that, a little. Okay, I go to him in the afternoon with a camera, with my laptop. I don't know why five, five, six images. I don't know what. And I go to Anne Marie Mieville home, and he was on the on his small. In a, by Anne Marie, he got a small room. It's a small bed. It's like a children bed, children room. Sit very gentle, very 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 sweet. Ah, Fabrice, ah, please, and. Um, And he began to explain me a film to do. I said, what, what? Ah, he's explaining a film to do. <laughs> I said, but next month, uh, next Tuesday, you will find, well, okay, no, please sit on me uh, on the bed. Okay, uh, I sit on uh, him on the bed, and uh, he, he gets on his uh, knee um, a notebook with draw by a blue pencil, you know, a stylo, a big. And uh, he began to explain me this, the first part, enfin, The film. I didn't know it was the first part, but and you see this image. You will find it on my mobile phone and look at this one. Then you make 20 seconds of it. Then cut. And then this one. Then cut. Then now we have to look on the film. Uh, Germany 90. Uh, ah, okay, maybe I can see on my laptop because I have connection to Vimeo and I put it on Vimeo and I can like. And now we begin to to. But we work like like we work. Uh, Every, like every day for 20 years, no? looking so for the shot, ah, this shot, okay, from that to that, okay, okay. I, and I was recording this also to have, uh, to don't forget any, any detail. Uh, and then we spent a lot of time to look on a small DVD uh, on the Pasolini film uh, Oedipus Rex, because he gets in mind, he, he remembers this image of this helmet. helmet, yeah. And we look on the film, but we don't see it. See, but it's, it's it there because you see the helmet, but not this big uh, premier plan, uh, uh, first shot. And finally, we find it. It's very short. He said, oh, you, you can slow it like on a, on a moviola. Uh, yes, okay, I know how. Da -da 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 -da. And then um, uh, we go to the last text. It's about uh, this doigt and non-doigt, finger and non-finger, horse and non-horse. Did, I don't understand <laughs> nothing on that. But I feel, but I don't understand. It's from Jean-Paul Sartre, from a book called The Situation Four, Force Situation. And it's a small text about a novel uh, that Sartre writes about a painter called Vols. I didn't know Vols also, but... Um, but this book was... We didn't find any more this book. So he said, ah, go to my home and look at... I look at the books, I don't find the book. And then we come back to him, and then I say, yeah, I have no book. Ah, maybe we can call Jean-Paul. So we call Jean-Paul in Paris. Jean-Paul, please, I am with Jean-Luc. He said, huh? Because he was like the fish also outside the water. He was like that for one week. And uh, hey, Jean-Paul, je I am with Jean-Luc. Uh, can you, um, you know, situation four? Uh, can you, do you have it? Ah, no, I don't have, but maybe in Paris there is one. When the uh, whole the, um, library, you can get it because it's not more edited. You cannot find it. I call you back. Okay, okay, okay. Jean-Luc, maybe tomorrow. Maybe oh, he said, oh, on Monday we will do it on Monday. <sighs> okay. 
So and then I come, okay, uh, see you, see you, see you on Monday. And then, um, okay, I take my car. It was five in the afternoon. I know that at six in Lausanne, uh, they close the uh, library closed. I know that there is a second hand library. So, okay, goodbye, Jean-Luc, goodbye. And then I, I, I run quickly to Lausanne to run until six to maybe if I found the Sartre book, life can go on. Because if we can make the film, maybe the creation will stop this idea of be killed and we continue. And, um, but the date was fixed, but okay, we can. Um, though it was running, running, I go to Lausanne, uh, and I have at six and one minute it was closed. So, <sighs> But Jean-Paul find it in Paris. He said, I haven't find it. I go to Paris, take it, and I can send you uh, the scan. Uh, on Saturday, uh, he gave me the text. I print it. And I made an excuse to Jean-Luc uh, to, can I come to see you today? Because I, there is something that I don't understand. It's what you explained me. OK, OK, come tonight at 7. I go to him. Um, and then I gave him the, and it was strange because I went a little late. I said seven. I come at seven ten, seven fifteen, and he was ah very upset because ah you come late. I'm sorry. Two times he was uh, against me. Come on, énervé. Uh, annoyed. Annoyed on me. Just two times in twenty years. Uh, this was the second times, and he said because you know in the situation where I am, I was very um, inquiet. Worried. Worried about you if you have an accident. Uh, no, Jean-Luc, sorry. <laughs> I just print the text so it takes me time. Well, um, and then we record the, the sound of the first, then of the first part. And I give him back the script, the first script that he gave me. Maybe he, because he's always changing things on the script. So I, when I give the, big, the, the script back, I made a copy of it. So he could continue creating, postpone always this thing. Because when he was working, it was really completely like, like one year before, like, like when he's thinking about the film. So I give him back the, the script. And then on the night, I begin to edit the, this part. But it was, for me, it was the film. And it was very strange because it's not complicated to edit. It's 13 shots of 20 seconds each, and the, most of these shots are fixed image. But I take all the night to, it was like I put one and then, whew, and on each image you see, I feel exactly things, you know, the helmet shots, I see the death coming on, the, uh, and there is a lot of images of uh, puppets or m mask, putting a mask away. It was like a human behind things or a child behind things. Well, um, and then on Sunday I had a family very nice, it was a very nice Sunday. Well, it was 11 September, but it was a nice day that day, that, that year. Um, and people, all people ask me, um, how is Godard? Uh, it's okay, he's tired. You cannot say this. You cannot say, no, Godard will die in two days. You cannot say as someone, hey, I will give you something. In two days, Godard will die. Okay, I, you can live with this. No, you cannot. You have to give it. Uh, to be alone with this in you, you say, me, will die, you will die. But they said it was absolutely confidential. You no, I don't say it, but you cannot say it. No, no, of course. Uh, even to my family. Hey, Mama, you know, Godard will die. And then, <laughs> ciao, you, you spend two days before knowing this. It's, c'est le deuil avant. It's uh, le deuil, The day before. The day, yeah. Uh, no, le deuil. Uh, oh, the de oh, the, um, Morning, yes. Uh, the morning before, you know, it's like strange. We have to learn how to, to use this. It's a good thing that we can use this kind of system, but it's strange. Um, okay. And then on the Monday, we go to him to say goodbye. And then he was smiling with the script that I give it back, which in red, he makes the second version. No, 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 no. And I present him the film. I wanted, to, do you want to see the, no, 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 it's okay. I trust you. Uh, no problem. I have the second one. Um, and then he explained us uh, the second until the last images. And then we kiss. And then, and we also ask him, are you really, are you really decided to have this date tomorrow? And 
It was really nice, fast, strange, fast, sweet, in fact. Um, because it, it was like, really like a little children, a little boy on his bed saying, no, no, I, now I, if, if it's tomorrow or um, next week or in um, two months, it's the same thing. No, no, now it's, it was very quiet. So I really, it was like, um, you know, with all these puppets or this mask, it was just the little boy, he put the cinema back. It's just a man. He, he was scary, he was a bit, he habillé. In, all his costume was cinema for uh, all his life. He built his everything, sa carapace, uh, son armure, his... Um, An armor. Uh, I don't know, everything. He built everything with literature, with culture. When you see image book at the end of the film, you have all the author of the music, all the painter, all this, and in the middle there is a photo of Jean-Luc children as a child in the middle of all this. Um, so, and uh, there on this bed, it just, yeah, now finished. And then we kiss. Uh, cry and and the day the next day was just ash strange I don't, I don't understand but what is incredible in this film it's okay we edited okay as he did as he asked the sound of the glass broken glass Brigitte Bardot need to hear the sound of the broken glass of the Orson Welles films and put a sound of an MRI. And everything appeared on our computer, found, and everything, he, he thought everything, everything was already made in his mind, so it's it just, it's incredible because when you take the, the image of uh, Bordapar, where, where you see uh, Bordapar is a band of all the other. And of outsiders. Uh, of outsiders. When you see one killing the, another, trying to kill him, and. And uh, at the end, there is a text, uh, a voiceover of Jean-Luc Young talking about uh, les dernières pensées de uh, ses dernières pensées allaient vers Odile, his last his thing. His last thoughts were of Odile's face. Yeah, Odile. Odile is also the name of his mother, of Jean-Luc's mother. And this text is about the death and Odile. He talk about Odile. And then there is an image. I learned this after the image of the Anna Magnani um, dying in the Pasolini the film. Open city. Oh, Rossellini okay. film, yeah. And in fact, I learned that the mother of Jean-Luc died on the street, like that, found by a Vespa problem, but she died in the middle of a street, and Jean-Luc could not come because he was in Paris. And one of the last image on his last film, he puts a child running to his mother dying on the street. So every, well, it, uh, it's well, it's incredible because everything was, and you just say, ah, oh, you put this and this and this, goodbye. Wow. <laughs> but we, um, it's such a gift to have both the short film and and the the um, expose. So yes, it's, it's life because it's a creation, and it's good to finish with this, <laughs> right? Unfortunately, we don't, um, yeah, we'll have to wrap up there. But um, it is screening again tomorrow, I think. Yes, at so. four. Yeah, I took too much, so I'm sorry. <laughs> no, there, there may be time for questions Maybe tomorrow. you have no questions. But thank you for sticking around. It's been really special. And thank you so much, Fabrice Arrani.